Okay, so uh, basically I got GarageBand going here. Um, I'm kind of somewhat in tune, and uh, I'm going to just kind of make a song off of uh, scratch. So basically I got this drum line here. Not bad. So I'll double click on it, and we'll just call that for either the verse. I'm going to hold on Option and, and make a copy of it, and then I'll double click on it again. Now let's just change it up a little bit, maybe make the hi-hat a little bit more active, and maybe make, make it just... Just a little bit different contrasting. You know, if I want to make it really contrasting, I could do that. Okay. So that could be you know, chorus or verse, and then we'll do it one more time uh, for uh, a bridge activity. And I'm using, if you notice, I'm using eight measures at a, at a, at a time. And so let's do um, maybe add a... It's a little bit different. Maybe on that one we'll add a real light. Okay, cool. So now I've got three sections here. And so, again, when I make music, I kind of just let the force bring me where I'm at. So I've got this modern stack that I kind of like. So let's see how this sounds. Two, three, four. Kind of like that. Okay, that kind of works. So I'm going to make it a little bit shorter to see how that sounds. And one little ump I don't like. Um, so let's go see if I can get rid of that little ump without re-recording it. Yeah, that little part right there. So basically... Make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, little, this little area right here, I don't need. Um. Okay. Far. That little part right there. Yeah, all right. Okay, not perfect, but we'll live it for right now. All right. So, what I can do now is I'll go through here, I'll duplicate that, and I will make a uh, I guess it's already the bass line there. I guess let me change that to, to a little bit more of a crunch guitar, maybe. That'll work. All right, so we've got a bass line here. So I'm going to go ahead and play the bass line just so I can remember it. It's an E to D chord. Okay, so make sure we got this thing where we wanted. All right. Two, three, four. Yeah, let me let me record that one more time. Sometimes it takes a little bit of a groove to kind of get there. I'm trying to figure out. I might do something like that. Two, three, four.
And that's one of the tricks I had back in the day was to go just a little bit over, and that way hopefully it catches at the end there. I, actually, I don't even hate that for a guitar part, uh, so I'll duplicate that and maybe once again make that kind of like a, a little bit of a, and just kind of lower that down some touch. But I will go through here and I will copy that part there and have that be my baseline. I'll double click on it and what I'm going to do is transpose this down an octave. And that way uh, I had to break my bass out and I got the bass going on. <laughs> All right, so cool. So let's come up with a contrast section. So I kind of got, let me go back to my guitar part here. I might keep with the same motive of it's just uh, two chords, but let's see. We'll see how the force brings me. One. something going on there. Let's see how that sounds there. Okay, that could work. And so we'll make the bass line just a little bit easier uh, to work with. Once again, I'll just take this down here and make sure I lower that down an octave. So these are little tricks, and this is GarageBand. Uh, the cool thing about when you learn GarageBand, it's on, it's um, Logic's little brother, so you can apply all this stuff to Logic. So I'm already kind of feeling the little guitar solos there. So we've got an A section, B section. Let's do a contrasting section. So I've been doing E and B. So let's figure out something kind of, kind of contrasting that we're going along with that. I think we'll just jump on the A chord there. All right, so we'll just try that with the chords. All right. Let me do that one more time. I think I got came in a little bit early there. Don't want to anticipate. One, four. Whoops. I guess we're just I'm rocking out too good. Too much am I rocking out. I'm um, actually recording this on a uh, MacBook Air. Okay, it's not liking that. I'm not quite sure why, but tell you what, we will cut everything off but that. See if that helps out. Uh, this is a MacBook Air 2011. I bought it for like 60 bucks to take to open mic night so I can record stuff and use some uh, beats and whatnot. Two, three, four. Don't hate it. All right. And, uh, you know, 
would this be better on a, on a better machine? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but I don't have that, so I'm just going to do what I need to do on this. Okay. So I'll turn that off there. Save it. So this is A, A, B, C sharp, D. Okay. All right, here we go. See if I can do something kind of cool. I'll do something cool with it. Come on, I'm rocking out. Rocking out too much. Again, I'll kind of just copy that for that little guitar part there. Take this down an octave because that way I don't have to break out my bass and uh, just cheating that. All right, so now I got three sections here. I got um, an A section, a B section, and a C section there. And So what we'll do is A section, B section, let's go ahead and take this and to have the A section come in again. Hold on, option, copy that over. All right, so A section, B section, A section, C section. We'll come back with the A section. B section. And maybe the, and maybe the two times. Uh, actually, well, it's kind of let's see where I went in time. Don't need this to be it don't need this to be too long of a song. Okay. Yeah, if we copy it one more time. get us to two minutes maybe just do it one more time out there okay so we can see a section pretty easy from that and we remember that the that's the C section there and I'm going there and writing stuff if I wanted to so what we can do is go through here and add things in here and take things up a little bit differently um, find me a good little part. Yeah, this is one of the my pawn shop guitars that I found that it's like a Les Paul copy. Um, and actually it kind of has a look like a Les Paul kind of hit stock also. But they had this uh, little bit of a I guess Gibson kind of, or Epiphone kind of made a deal with this kind of this pedagogical guitar. So I saw it and thought, hey, this is kind of cool. And we'll do the story guitar. Okay, Hendrix lives.
All right, we'll kind of like that one. So uh, let's just come up with a nice little melody. I basically got two notes. Let's see what I can come up with. Sometimes you gotta experiment around a little bit to get something. Got some serious feedback going on. Whenever you hear feedback, you know Jimi Hendrix still lives. All right, I'll, I'll see if I come up with something. One, two. So I think it's just I think if I just stay in there, that's going to be fine. And let's, uh... This guitar has nines on it, which I don't I don't really like as much. I like tens, but uh, you can move a little bit faster. All right, let's just rock, let's just rock this thing out to eleven. So that's a good little uh, A section there. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Sorry for the feedback there, but uh, all right. Okay, so what I'll do is, I usually don't do this, but I will kind of dovetail this thing. <laughs> Sloppy. Not that I hate that. Yeah, I'm double tailed that pretty good there. All right, and I go back to the. Well, I guess I tell you, we'll just make another one. And just duplicate that. Hit save. And uh, this is going to be the on the. It's going to be a little bit. That, actually, I probably can just use the same scale. Well, I think I need to hear it. <laughs> All right. So it's kind of good to see some mistakes so you kind of know what's going on. All right, here we go. I'm definitely dovetailing the heck out of this one. That's all right. You know, you got to live and learn a little bit. So now we get to that A1. Let's see if I can make it work. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> and then, uh, well, might as well just keep on going, right? Keep rocking this thing out. And if you notice, I'm saving also. Hopefully you're noticing that. Save that, uh, hit duplicate, and uh, got, okay, it got the B section and the A section again. All right, so we'll just kind of just keep on going down the line here. Bring it on home. Take this thing out to 11. core down here right so for the baseline. Okay, same thing. Double click on it. Take that down an octave. See that ending going, and again, this is not perfect. I need to go and mix it better and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, but okay, and again, I can get rid of that classic drive. <laughs> I don't like the distortion, but this is why I listen to a little bit of this, see how it sounds. Yeah, that that even though I like the classic drive, it is just too distorted going on. All right, we'll just change it to that. Yeah. Woo! 
Maybe that won't work. Uh, that definitely is a lot better than uh, having all that feedback go on. What a crunch guitar. It's not quite as bad, but I think Super Fuzz is probably the best one. So it's a little muddy, so let me see if I can do something with that, make it a little bit better, less muddy. Um, So anyways, I can keep on playing with that for a while here, but that's basically how you can go through there and make a, uh, make a piece, uh, your own and, um, and you can save that setting as, uh, something else here. So let's call it fuzz one. And that way I can kind of have that on there as well. Um, but yeah, I'll just continue to uh, see. So, let's kind of add super fuzz to all these guitar parts. And there were a couple of them. And then I can just bounce it down. And uh, if I want to put lyrics on it later, I could. Or um, just kind of use this as kind of more of a... Yeah, what I really need to do, and I'll just show it here, I'll double this part, and I just need to make it clean, have a clean one there to kind of give it a little bit more of a presence. You know how much better that is? 
that's, that's kind of that will that will work great uh, for all of these parts here so I'll just kind of go through here and just double them up again I'm just um, just using oops. put that under that one and put that one under that one and that way whoops don't want to do that the wrong one we put in that one Anyways, all this stuff here you can kind of you do even easier in logic, but it's if you understand this principle here, and one of the things I love about using GarageBand is that you buy you an inexpensive Mac, like the $70 uh, Mac I got off of eBay. The battery isn't very good, as you can see, I'm down to 41%, but I'll probably get through this one. All right, let's just listen to the end of this. Turn off, turn off the click there. System overloaded. I'm overloading the system. Here, we'll just listen to the last few. Yeah, what part is, which part is, part is, is feedbacking on there? Yeah, that's probably it. So tell you what, we'll, we'll just uh, throw that on the super fuzz. Do, 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 do. I guess I got a bunch of them over here, so I can just go and we'll put it on a clean one also. Get rid of that one. Came a little early there, didn't I? Well, maybe it came in a little late. Even, even that down here sounds like it's feeding back. Well, we'll just put that on um, on that also. Not what I want, but we will live with it. <laughs> I still did it. <sighs> well, if it's still going to do it, then I'll just put it back down there. You know, I can just go in here and just like shorten it down a little bit. You know what? Maybe part of that's that also. I'll just kind of get rid of some of that. Yeah, I can live with that. It's not it's not great, but you know. And all I need to do now, uh, before I run out of time and space on this thing, um, is I can go down and share, export it to disk, 
and I give it a name if I want to. Um, Rockin' Rain. Rockin' Rain. Rhyme. Rockin' Rain Road. There we go. It's raining outside right now. And uh, you can do uh, WAV file. I'll just do MP3 right now. And uh, just let it roll. And there it is. So uh, that's how I'm able to make a piece of music in GarageBand. If you haven't seen that before, I hope you enjoy that. Um, as always, rock and roll, of course, it does compute. You like this have amazing content. You know what you need to do. Subscribe. And uh, compute that. Thank you.